Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about how to be doing the greenhouse roof with slope glazing roof system. To kind of show you what I'm talking about, we're going to go to the drone capture. We see on our project here we have two greenhouses with this curved dome-like roof system. Kind of looking in at it further, it is it looks very panelistic. And in panels, and so we can assume that it's like a mullion type of roof system. So, also to point out, this roof system looks like it goes all the way down to the end to the ground, basically. But in my model, I'm rendering it in which I raise it up off the ground two feet with a CMU core brick veneer wall system. So, yours might not be exactly like mine, but you'll be able to use the same tactic to make the roof out of the sloped glazing. So to get started, we're gonna hide the topography. Even it looks cool, it kind of gets in the way. We're gonna go to the architecture tab and under roof, we're gonna go roof by extrusion. Okay, roof by extrusion. This is why I'm in the 3D tab. If by roof extrusion, you need to kind of see where the shape that you're drawing is going to extrude to. And so I find it most helpful to do it in 3D. It asks us to choose a work plane. The work plane will be the plane in which we will draw the shape. So if we go back to our model, this curved shape, if we were to cut it, it'd be on the plane that would be like this. So going back to our model, selecting the plane, we're gonna pick one of the, the small wall, not the large one, but this one so that we can draw the shape right on top of that. Um, your level will be different as well, where we want to start drawing it. This happens to be at level two, so I'm going to go to level two for that. No offset. Okay, it gives us our drawing tools. We're going to align it a little better so I can look at it head on. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the corner. I'm actually going to go up two feet instead of having it curved straight down into it. It's going to come and then meet a nice little edge here. So I'm going to go get two feet on this side and then two feet on this side. Okay, next we want to draw the curved part, which we can do with one of the many curved tools, but I personally like using the start and radius arc. It's very simple now you can choose where you start, choose where you end, and how big of a radius that you want. We're gonna go to mass capacity until you can't go any further basically. This happens to be at 13 feet six inches for me. We're gonna go as far as we can go and click it, select that. Now it looks like it's not connected, but it is. So everything looks good here, we have our extruded shape that we want. So we're going to push escape and then hit the finish edit mode. Okay, cool. We see how the roof has took this shape and extruded all the way back in a very nice half cylindrical form. Selecting the roof, we'll see how far it actually went. Okay, we can see it kind of shot over a little bit. We can adjust that easily by using the arrows. Cool. Now, as you can see, we made the roof, but we have the wrong roof system on there. So we're going to select this roof, change it from a basic generic roof to sloped glazing. Selecting sloped glazing, it looks like it disappears, but that means we just have to edit it to show where the mullions are going to be. So going to edit type, um, we're going to go and make it a curtain panel because remember how we looked at the model and it had those panel looking things. So we're going to mimic that. We want it to be the glazed system panel. Um, so we let light in, but not necessarily everything. Okay, for grid one, grid one is in the up and down direction and grid two is in the left and right direction. So choosing these, we want them to be maximum spaced. Um, we can go five feet for this. Five feet tall windows, million bar things. And as for the left and right, we also want it maximum space. We'll go double it, one double it, 10 feet. Nice. Next, you need to select the type of mullion borders and interior things. You have different options here from shapes of rectangular to circular to trapezoidal. I'm just gonna go for rectangular to keep everything um, 
simple and uniform. Okay, cool. Once you've done all those changes in the properties, we can click OK and watch it load and do magic. Nice. Perfect. So you see now that we have this very nice roofing system. You can go ahead and put in a mullion wall here, and I'm gonna have to go in and put a door, door here and a mullion wall there. But it's looking like it's pretty good. Of course, you can change the materials and kind of how this looks if you want. They used to go back into the edit type, the properties there. But this is basically how you make that sloped glazing roof. We have we not only use sloped glazing, but we also made it curved. So good luck making this with your own project and try different sizes of paneling. See if you can find a different size that you like or what thing works better for you. And let me know what you think. Thanks.